Many confuse the end times with the last days, and they fail to differentiate. The last days began with the birth of Jesus in Hebrews chapter 1 and verse number 2 and will conclude with the rapture of the church. We have had 2,000 years of church age history. When the church is taken out at the rapture, there will be a gap of time between the rapture and the commencement of the 70th week or the final seven-year period of tribulation. The ruler from the revived Roman Empire, foretold in Daniel chapters 2 and 7 and Revelation chapters 12, 13, and 17, will come on the world stage to confirm a final seven-year peace treaty out of Daniel 9, 27 with Israel. When that treaty is confirmed, that will commence the final 2,520-day countdown to Jesus' second coming back to earth at the end of the tribulation period. The end times will include the tribulation period, Revelation chapters 6 through 19, the second coming in Revelation 19, 11 through 15, Armageddon, Revelation 16, 16, the millennial kingdom, Revelation 20, verses 2 through 7, and it will conclude at the great white throne judgment in Revelation 20, 11 through 15. The 70 weeks are based out of Daniel 9, 24, and it is that final seven-year period based on the Jewish lunar calendar, not our Gregorian solar calendar, showing this has everything to do with unbelieving Israel and not the believing church. The Jewish lunar calendar has a 360-day year. So if we take 360 times 7, 7 7-year period of tribulation, that's 2,520. And we know that 2,520 days is 7 years. If we divide 2,520 by 2, we come up with a number found in Revelation chapter 11 and verse number 3. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy 1,203 score days clothed in sackcloth. That's 1,260 days. That is the first half of the tribulation period of 1,260. Then we read about the woman, Israel, who flees from the dragon in Revelation chapter 12 and verse number 6. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they shall feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. That's 1,260 days. That is the last half of the 70th week or the last half of the tribulation period of 1,260 days. That's 2,520 days in all. The church is not mentioned as being on the earth between Revelation chapters 6 through 19. That cover the seven-year period of tribulation. The church is mentioned 19 times before the tribulation in Revelation chapter 4 and six times after the tribulation in Revelation chapter 19, after chapter 19, rather. Now, we are in the last days. We spoke about this before. The last days of the church age will end at the rapture of the church. The end times will happen once the Antichrist confirms the seven-year treaty with Israel. Remember, 70 weeks will be upon thy people, the Jews, and thy holy city, Jerusalem, Daniel 9.24. It's called a time of Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7, and not the time of the church's trouble. The church wasn't in the 69th week. And the church will not be in the 70th week to come.